top stories Union Minister of Ayush Independent in Charge Sripad Yeso Nayak inaugurates 10 bedded Ayush Integrated Hospital Union Minister of Ayush Sripad Yeso Nayak and Chief Minister Anbirain inaugurate Arogya Fair 2018 And state government assures safety, fear still prevails among the people. Hello and good evening. You're watching Times of Manipur. Now the news in detail. Ayush Independent in charge of Union Minister Sripad Yeso Nayak today inaugurated a 10-bedded integrated Ayush hospital which was constructed under the aegis of Director of Ayush and State Ayush Society at Kwakaitil Konjeng Lekai. Addressing the gathering at the inaugural function, Sripad Yeso Nayak said, Manipur is a land endowed with varieties of medicinal plants. As such, it is important to know the types of medicinal plants and preserve its property. New Homeopathy College at Imphal East, Cairo under the National Ayush Mission and I accept the state shall soon have a first Ayush Medical College here. Along with the Medicinal College, the Ministry has approved setting of a new state homeopathic pharmacy at a new and new drug testing laboratory in the same location. The state of Manipur is rich in biodiversity and medical plant and the ministry is supporting the propagation of medicinal plant under this scheme. Under the mission, the ministry has supported the state for rupees around about 44 crores uh, from year 2014, 2014-15 uh, till date. The ministry shall continue to support the state and initiatives in the future also. I expect that state to work with efficiency and implementation of the works and avail more benefit from the scheme of this ministry. Ayush Independent in Taj Sripad Yesu Naik and Chief Minister Anvirin inaugurated Arogya Fair 2018 at City Convention Centre today. The event is jointly organised by Directorate of Ayush, State Medicinal Plant Board and State Ayush Society. Manipur under the guidance of Ministry of Ayush. Around 42 different stalls will be opened at the fair. Addressing the event, the Chief Minister said, Earlier, people were not much aware of the benefits of Ayush. However, at present, the masses are more into Ayurvedic medicines over allopathy. <laughs> Participate me can never give me a sin or plain give me a of affordable natural resource to the same mother. Nasser, a bit of a post to the same mother, so not the water name. As if we treat the top or a developed country, super war guy, the labor when it's hard, you could like and they can make it. Don't have a space, they could also have the deal. I quit the name of city potential, so I think I'm a big bit of me. I quit a long way to make the balls under book under the Tacassian Jung, but under Kitan to book under eh, there are five, there are five, and another dog, Puck Nutman, E. World Tower, Fanim. I think I know Sway, eh, to the Simana, to the Simana. Don't my quit a long way to get the Abu Pony, the machine. I quit the machine, but posting it is in the book. I do hide the portrait, trouble when one talk of my hand, can have a pin in the buggy, walk alone, say, later. I quit him upon the gate, don't be pantang, but can't know it. I had a panic tongue, we hate a beam, I don't like either way. We don't know why. And then I see this the ampers that we are seeing. I used to sing in Makada, Miyama, Masama Saki, you know, the Hidaka Sanjana Kanda. 
holy book, Bambi Singhana Khyal Samjara Kanda, self-treatment piece of Yaha Nabaya, to give knowledge, import of the river. The state government has already assured the public that there is nothing to panic about regarding the mystery killings of livestock by unknown predators at various parts of the state. However, people are still apprehensive about it. Here is a report from our reporter Sarat Anovam. The people of the state are still having fierce psychosis over the incidents of livestock killing by some unknown predators at multiple places in Imphal. Many have even expressed that they are afraid to go out after sunset. Here's some views given by people from various walks of life. ไปตากระซูตะเซนะเอเจกลิมาชิกิชาซิกิตะเซงตะเซงนะเอ่อมากิโฟโตเคมีราณสิงบะเดกิเอเจกลิมาชิมิมังมกตะเดกตะมาช
Tata Sky on channel number 1973. Welcome back. A protest was staked in front of MPP office Polo Ground today against the gun firing at the residence of General Secretary Manipur People's Party Hobi Jamgita Jain in Kari Awang Lekai at the evening of November 4th by some unknown miscreants. Protesters had placards with slogans like gun firing in residential area is not acceptable and give equal treatment to different political parties. Member of Central Committee Abraham Akoyjam said that attack on Gita Jain's residence is strongly condemnable. Though the government claims that the law and order situation is improving in the state, many unwanted incidents are still occurring. <laughs> The government has welcomed the decision to open a police outpost at Holland Five Village under Moray subdivision near Myanmar border. After the objection by Menkang Village Chief M. Laban, the outpost will be named Menkang Village Police Outpost. Addressing a press conference at Manipur Press Club, he said, if the government named the outpost after Holland Five Village, there will be protest the act with Band and Block it. <laughs> Serial number of the city of forty eight serial number of the city 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 of Felicitation of national and international players was held at Tretrigao Community Hall today. Sponsored by social worker Said Norul Hassan showed gratitude with a cash reward of Rs 10,000 to 20 players of Tretrigao constituency. Addressing the event, Sheikh Norul Hassan expressed that the event is being held to encourage the players who are responsible for showcasing Manipur on global platform. financial <laughs> support technical support pibi da na maram mora ga yam na ning ba kai na lam khang da gi han ki ba ngat tani shumang lela ning tham kumhai will be held from 10 to 24 december with 14 male groups at iboyaima shumang lela sanglen with rupees 50 per ticket the show will start from 2 pm for 15 days addressing a press conference held at manipur state shumang lela council Konung Momang, advisor to the Academy Subcommittee, Padmashri Awardee Ware Panaba said, various steps are being taken up by the council to take Manipur Shumang Lela to the world platform. He appealed for people participation in the Ningtham Kumhai. Prithibi ki oina, UNESCO ki oina, intangible cultural heritage of humanities ki lista, yaun nab ki damakta, lamjiya namata narayi ba shida, Shumang Lela hari ba, are for Masishu intangible cultural heritage of humanities ki list the Yahun Nabahona Vasina, I quake a chapa, wash up a mother, Venana, I quake a Changin Javari. Changin Jariba Togana say, Sumalila Council Katana, Sinbadati, we talk to Maramadana, Laibaxibu Nunsi Java, Laibaxibu Masigi, Sakutpagi, Kongtang, the Sangsin Minariba, Mediagi Kambu, Langa Wagi Kambu, full of Subsina Hajarabada. Like Park Sigi, Unique 
traditional performing art form ama o yeri ba ashi bo malem gi thak ta intangible culture heritage of humanity gi list ta yahul laga manipur mo amtak malem de sakta na ba hona ba ai ba sina chumang lila council gi amta na ro washak ni hai na tam jar This year's Fidonu Award is going to be conferred on eminent writer and scholar P. H. Gunachandra Sharma. Are the winners in various categories were El Jugeshwar for Bori Award, N. G. Mangiyama for Brajendra Award, Pandum Dipson for Gulamjad Ideal Award, Sur Athokpam from Ibim Hal Popular Award, while the Morang Thim Ningthau Award went to L. Kunjaraj. The awards are going to be presented by the chairman of the committee. <laughs> Association Mapa Saba. Ahum Subuda Gulam Sat Ideal Award Pandum Gibson Peacemaker Artist Association Gi. Mari Subuda Ibeman Popular Award Sur Atopam Iram Damanipur Artist Association. Manga Subuda Nong Tongbam Berendra Award Ranjit Nikauza Sumang Lila Writer. Taruk Subuda Pidonu Award. P.I.S. Gunachandra Sharma, eminent writer, scholar. Tare Chubada, Mwarang Thaym, Ningtau Ewaat, El Kunjaraz, Sumang Lila, Veteran Actor. Hari ba, Makoi Nipal Asida, Council na Pijadu ba Mana Singh Si, Pinabe Yung Ta. Integrated Talent Development Mission felicitated cyclist Matthew, who is on a bicycle expedition with a message to unite the northeastern states of India. Thingbaijam Matthew of Kurai Sajor Lekai stated his journey on November 21st from Sikkim. He travelled through West Bengal, Assam, Guwahati and Nagaland. He reached Imphal today. Talking to media persons, Matthew shared his experience of the 16-day expedition. ไอ้เกดอะไรกันดีอะไรกี้ที่น้าโอ้ยบีบอกคนอื่นแต่คนที่ยามนั้นคงเจอไอ้ดีสักสิบคนครั้งนั้นจะจะดูก่อนไม่
Police have renamed uh, named Yogesh Raj, the convener of the Buland Shahar unit of the Bajrang Dal, the youth wing of Vishwa Hindu Parishad, as the men accused among 28 people. Raj is yet to be arrested. 62 hardcore Naxals surrendered before security forces in Chhattisgarh today. Police in the poll-bound states said Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh described the development as a huge achievement of the 62 Naxals. 55 surrendered with their arms and ammunition in Narayanpur district. The hardcore Naxals were working under the Kutul Area Committee of the CPI Maoist. Polling for the 96th Chhattisgarh Assembly is scheduled to be held in two phrases on November 12 for 18 seats and on November 20 for 72 constituencies. Most of the constituencies in the first phrase fall in the state's Bastar region. We'll have a short break. Stay tuned. Live and style, a gateway to the elegance of Manipur. Coming soon, only on Tom TV. Welcome back. A locomotive unveiled in 2005 for a special exhibit at George H. W. Bush's Presidential Library will be used to pull the late president's funeral train. Dubbed 4141 in honor of the 41st president, the 4300 horsepower machine will carry Bush's remains today to his final resting place. The locomotive is traveling from suburban Huston about 70 miles, 113 kilometers, to College Station, where Bush will be buried at his presidential library at Texas A.M. University. A car with transparent walls will allow mourners along the tracks to see the president's flag-draped coffin. ...in the faces of well-known aides, colleagues and friends, like Cindy McCain, whose late husband John McCain was the last person to lie in state here. President and Mrs. Trump the BJP is considering fielding Bollywood actor Madhuri Dixit Nene from Pune Lok Sabha constituency in the 2019 general elections, according to sources. Earlier in June this year, BJP chief Amit Shah had met the actor at her residence in Mumbai during his party's Sampark for Samarthan program and briefed her on the achievements of the Narendra Modi government. The party is in the process of finalizing the list of probable probabilities for several Lok Sabha seats and Dixit's name has been shortlisted for the Pune Lok Sabha constituency. The 51-year-old actor has featured in many Bollywood films including Hum Aapke Hai Kaun, Dil To Pagal Hai, Sajan and Devdas. Now let's have a look at some of the top newspaper headlines. The Sangai Express, mysterious killing of livestock, chief conservator of forests not ruling out possibility of stray dogs. Jenim's senior residents resume cease work strike. UZ suspect hurt in shootout to help. Convict gets five years rigorous imprisonment under POSCO Act. The People's Chronicle, eight MLAs face criminal cases. Clarity on animal attack mystery today. Chief conservator of forest. Ultag Kader hurt in encounter. Three arrested. Infall free press. 
differently able persons should not be termed as disabilities, says Karam Shyam. Two months long digital Sakti campaign kicks off. The morning bell. Forest Department assures truth on livestock killing within 48 hours. 53 years old sentenced to five years rigorous imprisonment. Another remanded in sexual assault cases. Governor launches digital literacy and online safety program. LPG gas connection distributed. Langol Ningto body banishes alleged rapist family. Before we wrap up the top stories once again. Union Minister of Ayush Independent in Charge, Shripad Yeso Nayak inaugurates 10-bedded Ayush Integrated Hospital. Union Minister of Ayush, Shripad Yeso Nayak and Chief Minister Angurain inaugurate Arogya Fair 2018. And State Government assures safety, fear still prevails among people. This is all for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur.